Hi, I'm Jan, and I'm from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Going to jump right into it today. I think a lot of times many people have come so far away from common sense in general in life that it's almost laughable. But trust me, that's another show, <laughs> another topic completely. But let's narrow it down to common sense approach with cash. There are certain things that, in my honest opinion, will or shouldn't ever go out of style. And one thing is this, and this is a basic principle, spending beyond your means. I know we've heard it a lot of times, but I really oftentimes wonder how many people practice it. Because if more people practice that common sense, it's actually simpler than what people make it out to be. If more people didn't borrow against something they don't have, nor do they come up with a plan to have the money ready for when the bills come in type thing. It's like living on borrowed time, except it's not on borrowed time. It's on borrowed money. It's on borrowed money. So to me, living beyond your means is not a common sense approach to cash. Next, thinking that two plus two will equal five. Two plus two will never equal five unless you take action. Of course, mathematically, it's not going to equal five. <laughs> it will always equal four. However, if you know that you're having a struggle, there are only two things we could do in life when we're struggling. Only two things we can do in life. One is strictly, strictly, and I mean strictly, suspend extraneous spending and really, really examine your budget which brings me to the next point. Or you must bring in more income. Again, common sense approach to cash management, personal finances. And yes, it is personal. Personal finances are personal. Now, everybody has a different style. I'm of the belief that it is a better idea to have a roadmap in front of oneself every month, you know, with their monthly spending plan, but that's my approach to things. Other people and their family situation, everybody's family is unique. Everybody's situation is completely different. So there's no right or wrong. I believe it is a matter of preference and of style. What is your personal financial style? Do you like to uh, monitor yourself and have a monthly budget, if you prefer to call it that, or spending plan? That's an interesting question. Let me know in the um, comment section below. However, that's okay, the no budget thing for those that kind of sort of really know their lives well. But I think it could be a dangerous route for the person that is really not paying attention to things and really doesn't have the cash to cover what they're doing during the month with that piece of plastic in their hands. I have my concerns for situations like that. No judgment, just concerns, okay? So again, to me, Janet, the common sense approach would be to know your numbers. I'm not saying get obsessed with numbers. This is where it gets, where people sometimes get a little, you know, maybe antsy about this. Not to be obsessed. In fact, that's the beauty part. The more you know about your personal financial situation, the better you can control it in your manner that fits your life. Every single month is different. Every single monthly expense is different. People have birthdays. People have anniversaries. People have that unexpected emergency you know, that comes up. A car breaks down. A unexpected illness causes somebody to lose work for a couple of weeks type thing. Things change from month to month. Your income might be identical for those on a fixed income. The income might be identical, but your monthly situations are not necessarily identical. I mean, maybe a few months in a row seems similar, but something could come up in, let's say, month number four, for example. Again, common sense approach. If everyone took a breath, did their own thing, what works best for their family and their situation, that's the route to go. But 
for those that really don't know their numbers and they're having problems paying bills, that is a red flag. There's a huge red flag there. And that's when you really need to take stock of your situation and do what you can. Okay, there you go. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you a lot for watching. And I hope to come back the next time and help you again. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.